Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to discuss about EM1 and also EMAS, all right? So what is EM1? EM1 is actually a microbial inoculant. It's not a fertilizer. So it's mixed culture solution of effective microbes. So there are three main microbes that are present at, in EM1. Namely, we have uh, lactic acid bacteria, we have yeast, and phototropic bacteria. Now, if you want to know about the uses and functions, the benefits of these bacteria, of these microbes, you can refer to uh, one of my YouTube channels. I'm going to put the link in the description. The technology is imported from Japan, but the microbes are local. So whenever yeah, you're in the Philippines or you're in Kenya, you're in the US or Canada, or even if you're in Europe, the microbes are collected from the local setting, the local place. So it's actually yellowish brown color solution and the smell, it's sweet sour fermented smell, right? So the pH value is 3.5 or even below 3.5. So these are the commercial uh, packaging of EM1. The brown one is the, the one that is available in the Philippines. And the green one is the one that is available in Kenya. I'm not familiar of how much the cost here in the Philippines, but in Kenya, I normally buy EM1 from AgroVets. Okay, stores, uh, they normally uh, cost about uh, 375 Kenya shillings, all right? So the bioactivity of EM1 is actually stable. So the, the, the microbes are stable and they are sleeping. So we need to activate the solution. That's why we're going to formulate what we call as EMAS or EM activated solution. So what is EMAS? It's just we increase and we multiply the microbes from EM1, right? So it is used like EM1, but it's cheaper than EM1. Why? Because for one liter of EM1, we can actually multiply it to about 20 liters, okay? And the microbial activity now is higher than EM1. Why? Because we have already uh, awakened them up and if we use it within one month, then the activity is higher. So some reminders with regards to formulating EMAS. So only use genuine EM1, right? So you can get it from reliable uh, distributors and retail outlets. Plus use clean plastic container with tight cover, right? So don't use uh, container that is made of glass or bottles. Why? Because I will explain later. Uh, also, uh, use unchlorinated water hmm? because uh, as we all know, chlorine kills bacteria, both, both good and bad, okay? Both beneficial and uh, harmful bacteria. So chlorine, uh, it's a no-no when we are formulating EMAS. Clean and con uncontaminated molasses. I think that's very obvious. Store in cool and dark place. Yes, no direct sunlight. And then the ideal temperature should be between 20 to 35 degrees Celsius. All right. So as mentioned, we use plastic container with cover. Why with cover? Because we're going to ferment anaerobically, okay, without air. So these are the materials and the rate of... Uh, how much volume per material. So for water, we use 90%. So if we want to formulate one liter EMAS, then uh, we need 900 ml of water. And then EM1, 5%, that's 50 ml. And then molasses, 5% also 50 ml. So this, the, the, the process is very easy. So we just put all them together, all right? And then uh, ferment it for seven days. Now. It could be five days, it could be seven days. When the temperature is a little bit low, uh, it will require maybe a uh, longer uh, number of days, okay? Maybe seven days. If the temperature is a little high, 
then we baby it will require only five days. So during fermentation, be sure to keep emas in a cool dark place and then occasionally once a day, you open the cover once a day so that now uh, to release the gas, okay? Uh, on the seventh day, uh, the, the fermentation process will be over, then there will be no more gas, okay? So fermentation will be from five to seven days depending on the temperature. A pH should be lower than four. Smell sweet sour and then color from dark brown to lighter brown. Okay, so it is advisable that we use the EMAS within one month because the activity of these of microbes will decline after one month. So, and when you are when you have fermented emas you might see white moles on the surface of the container which is okay these are the good bacteria all right so how do we use emas for plants yeah very simple uh one tablespoon or 10 ml for every one liter of water all right and then spray directly to the leaves one or twice a week uh, the spraying time should be in the morning, 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. or in the afternoon from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Now, why the timing? It's because, as we have learned in our basic science in biology, you know, that's when the opening from the plants uh, is happening, okay? We call it the stomata, so that now the plants will be able to absorb these uh, microbes, okay? Can be used to water the plants as well. So if you remember, based on our previous discussion, uh, one of the functions of good bacteria is to suppress soil-borne diseases or soil-borne pathogens, okay? So you can actually uh, water emas to your plants. And uh, another function of a good bacteria is, of course, it will enhance the, the growth of your plants right and for animals you can actually use also emas simply mix one tablespoon of emas for every one liter of water and then spray in and out of the cages and pens once or twice every week to eliminate bad odor all right you can again spray in the morning and then spray in the afternoon you can use emas to bathe your animals and your pet dogs. In fact, at home, I have a German Shepherd. I, I don't buy, you know, uh, pet shampoo anymore or, or soap. I just simply use emas. Now, emas can also be used as a probiotic, okay? So, it means to say we can mix one tablespoon for every one liter of water and mix with the drinking water of our animals. This is to improve their immune system so that now they will not get sick so easily. All right? So this is just an example of a crop that is grown with emas. So remember, once we mix it with water, it has to be used within 24 hours already to avoid what? Contamination. All right? So do not prolong after 24 hours. You simply discard it. You just water it to your plants. Okay? And that's it. All right? So if you have any questions, you can uh, drop uh, your comments in the comment section below and I will try to answer your questions as, as, as much as I can. All right? So that's it. So if, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Also hit that notification bell so that now you will be notified every time we have new videos. And don't forget to like and share as well. For our next topic, we're going to do EM rice wash, okay? So that's it for now. Bye, enjoy the rest of your day, and may God bless us all.